Educationist in Nigeria have called the Nigerian parents to inculcate in the children a culture that promotes moral values, unity and love, which enhances intermarital rights amongst people of different cultural backgrounds. Vice President, Institute of Information Management Africa, Princess Fapunda, disclosed this at the Cultural Day celebration of Christopher Schools, where different cultures showcased in different outfits and cuisine of different tribes in Nigeria were celebrated. The retired director at Federal Capital Territory Abuja said when different cultures are embraced by Nigerians, it will promote values which in turn brings reduction in banditry and negativity in the society. This culture cannot be overemphasized. It promotes unity, it promotes oneness, it promotes togetherness to the extent that those students will can even intermarry, you know. It, they, they can intermarry and even before intermarry they can be of help to one another they will love each other and in that case they will create in themselves sense of belonging and when you have sense of belonging there will not be banditry there won't be whatever they call Boko Haram there won't be any misunderstanding among the, among the tribe. The parents are no longer promoting culture. They don't allow their children to speak their dialects, their local dialects. I want to use this opportunity to encourage parents to make sure that their children speak their real dialects. I commend the Igbos. Most of their children, they can speak Igbo very well. And I want to encourage other tribes like Yoruba and the rest of them to allow their children to also speak their dialect. Principal of the school, Mabonka Biomi, revealed that the culture as a way of life allows people to know their history and trace their roots. While a parent, Yetunde Okpe Miojo, said the importance of culture cannot be overemphasized. Culture is very important because culture is the way of life of a group of people. When people do not know their culture, they do not know what their past is. They don't know their history, so they don't know their origin. So culture gives definition to who a person is. And so when a child knows his, his, his or her culture, the child knows his or her roots, the child can speak and represent himself or herself culturally. The child knows, the child can speak his or her native language. The child can communicate properly and the child understands who he is or who she is. So culture is very, very important. And um, a child that has cultural awareness is able to relate well with people, is able to mingle well. Teach our children culture. When they go out there, they know how to relate with other people that is not from their own culture. So you know there are do's and don'ts. So you don't just go to another place and you won't be lost. You can relate with them. The way they dress, the way they greet, their ways of life. I think it's an important thing to actually train our children, no matter how small they are. It's not even only children, even for adults, you get to know what other culture is all about. So I think it's a very welcome idea. It was agreed that culture should be inculcated than both young and adults to create awareness and add beauty to the way of life of every tribe. Culture and traditions. We have done well to get share of our land to 